Hi, third grade. So last week we took a little break from our usual routine of reading and answering questions and we wrote a friendly letter. If you have not yet sent me a copy of your letter, please be sure to do that so that I can give you some feedback and then I can grade your final. So today we're going to go back into our reading book to page 308 where we are going to work on our vocabulary in context. So using some unknown words that are using the known words around the unknown word to figure out what the word means. So number one, the first word is voyage. I know a lot of you know what a voyage is. <clears throat> Let's read the sentence and look for context clues. The explorer's voyage or ocean trip to Hawaii took more than a year. So we can hear it's an explorer and they're going on a voyage and they gave us another word for voyage, ocean trip. Now, it wouldn't necessarily have to be just an ocean trip. It could be a space trip or it could be a, a trip across the land, but it's some kind of a trip and it's usually far. And we know that because it took more than a year. Okay. Number two, lava. Hawaii's islands form from lava, or hot melted rock from volcanoes. What is lava? Hot melted rock from volcanoes. Did you know that inside the volcano we call it magma, but when it's outside of the volcano we call it lava, melted rock. Number three, rippled. Look at the picture. This lava in Hawaii rippled into tiny black waves as it cooled. When you drop a pebble in the water, you can see the ripples spread out in waves. Number four, arrival. When visitors first come to Hawaii, their arrival is welcomed. Well, arrival sounds like arrive. When you arrive, you first come somewhere, and hopefully you'll be welcomed. So those are both clues. Number five, guided. This man guided or led tourists through a park in Hawaii. Guided lead. Number six, twisted. These girls twisted wire around flowers to attach them to crowns. To twist wire in a way that will attach something, so to kind of fasten something. Number seven, aboard. Each racing canoe has six people aboard. They are seated in the boat. If they're aboard the boat, that means they're on the boat. They're seated in the boat. That tells us they are aboard. Now, if they're standing on the dock, they are not aboard the boat. When they get into the boat, now they are aboard the boat. Number eight. Anchor. It looks like anchor with a CH, but in this case we're going to use the k sound. Anchor. A heavy anchor holds this boat in place when the boat is stopped. So it's something very heavy that holds something in place. To anchor something is to hold it in place. And that's what that big anchor does. Number nine, spotted. Now, you might think, oh, I know what spotted is. It's like my dog is spotted, my, or, or my cat is, has spotted fur, or kind of like polka dots, I have a spotted shirt. Hmm, there's another meaning. The tourists spotted or caught sight of whales in the ocean near Hawaii. 
To spot something is to see with your eyes. You spotted the ball flying through the air. I spotted the bird. Number 10, bay. People can swim, snorkel, or sail in the gentle waters of this bay or inlet. And if we look at the picture, we can see that it is um, kind of cut off from the main body of water. You see the ocean and then there's just this kind of area where the waves kind of settle down. It's a little more gentle there and it's kind of cuts into the land and that's a bay or an inlet. It's in Side the land. You see how the land kind of comes around and frames that water. Okay, now we're going to go back to page, oh, maybe it's, maybe we're going to go forward. Yeah, to page 311 to get an idea of what we'll be reading about. The title of our um, selection this week is Dog of the Sea Waves. So we know it has something to do with the sea, and maybe it has a dog in it. But we're going to read on page 311, Volcanoes. Well, there's something in nature, too. I wonder how they have, what they have to do with dog of the sea waves. Let's read. That will introduce our topic that we'll be reading tomorrow. The Hawaiian Islands are lush, green, and beautiful. It is hard to believe that they were formed from red hot bubbling rock rising from deep inside the earth. When the melted rock cooled, it hardened into land and formed islands. Plants such as palms and animals such as seals found their way to the islands. Eventually, people did too. In Dog of the Sea Waves, you'll read a story of five young men who explored these volcanic islands long ago. You'll find out what happens when one of the volcanoes wakens from its rest. A resting volcano is called a dormant volcano, but sometimes volcanoes wake up or start being active again because of pressure building under the earth. Now I want you to take out your vocabulary worksheet and I'm gonna run and grab mine. Hold on one minute, I'll be right back. All right, so at the top of our page, we see our vocabulary words for this week. Voyage, lava, rippled, arrival, guided, twisted, aboard, anchor, spotted, and bay. Now I'm going to read the sentences and you decide which word makes sense. The waves on the pond blanked in the wind. That hot melted rock is called Everyone got the bus and sat down. It's like when you get on a ship or you get on an airplane or you get on the bus. Sometimes on a train they would yell, all. We swam in the warm, gentle water of the. The blank was heavy and it held our boat in place. As we were sailing off the coast, we blanked a whale in the water. We saw it. We went with the teacher on a blank tour of the art museum. 
We had to have someone go with us, an adult. For many people, an ocean blank was the only way to get to the new country, and sometimes it was very difficult. They had to set out on a long journey or a... He blanked the wire around the magnet. Kind of, kind of wind it around or... Upon the visitor's blank, they were greeted by people dressed in fancy clothes. When they got there, upon their... Okay, when you finish, send me a picture of that and I'll come back to do some work in our workbook in just a few minutes.